Ask your industry, we first need to talk about how does the driver get paid. And the driver gets paid by what is called the fare. And so this first part of the video, we're going to talk about understanding what the fare is and what it is made up of. So when you're doing a ride, you are going to be paid a fare. And we're going to talk about that in this first part of the video. So the first question should be, what is the fare? As any driver wants to know, what is the fare? The fare is your time and your distance. This is what the driver actually gets paid on. So when you get your receipt as a driver, you should look on that receipt and see where the time and the distance. This is what you're going to get paid on. The next thing is the taxes. So just like whenever you go to a store or a restaurant, you see the price of the product. And then once you pay for the product, there are taxes involved. The same way with the ride share industry, when a rider pays for a ride, there are taxes added into that fare. And so these are payments that go directly to the government. The booking fee. The booking fees go directly to the company for operational cost. This is what helps the company keep their light on. This is the profit margin for the company. And drivers do not get any part of this. This comes directly out of the rider payment. The service fee. The service fee is what the driver pay the company for picking up riders. And this happens every single time that you as a driver pick up a rider. So no matter how much the fare to take a percentage out of your fare, out of your physical earnings. And so the, the more that you drive, the more that they take. And with this new model, it's going to be better for drivers because you pay a flat fee every month. This is one time a month. And you can do as many rides as whatever plan that you choose. We would, but this should be a boost to drivers because they only pay one time a month versus paying every time they pick someone up. Those who have a service fee you are very familiar with, which will be your Ubers and your Lyfts of the world. And the one with the new model will be Safe Rides 24-7. So remember earlier I told you about that there are two different business models. One that is service fee centered and the other one that is subscriptions fee centered and you'll see the different ways on how they interact with one another first off we go talk about uber and their business model their business model like i said before is the service fee so simply like i said uber is the app that connects drivers with riders and the riders pay for the service so this is how the drivers get paid and this is how uber gets paid and the payment that the rider makes goes directly to Uber. And so that means your fare, your time, your distance, the booking fee, all that goes directly to Uber. And Uber takes 25% of your earnings, meaning your time, your distance. This is the stuff that you actually get paid on. And they take a service fee out of that, up to 27%. Now, guess what you do with that 25%? You pay that cert that that twenty five percent every time you pick someone up. So no matter how big your fare is, Uber is going to take twenty five percent of that. So here's an example right here of a what the rider paid, what Uber took, and what the driver took home. The rider paid twenty two dollars and thirty two cents, as you can see, and Uber's service fee is four dollars and fifty four cents, and the driver took home pay was. $13.96 so what the driver took home is not really a bad thing the driver can be making more in another way but right now we're going to focus on the service fee the service fee is four dollars and fifty four cents so this is what you pay uber every single time that you pick someone up it varies so it could be between two dollars and all the way up to eight dollars or even more depending on how high your fare is but like I said it's always a flat 25 percent of your fare so over the course of 50 rides, you pay Uber $227 for the use of the platform. A lot of you drivers do 50 rides within a week. So that's 10 rides every single day. And a lot of you guys do more than that. So you're on average paying Uber $227 every single week. And I want you guys to figure that out. I want you guys to look at your own fares and see and calculate that 25%. That and see how much you're actually paying Uber. Because you could be paying less if you go with the model that we are going to present to you 
the next slide. Why is it $227? It's because you pay, like I said, every single time you pick someone up. Talk about that booking fee a little bit later. Okay, so this is going to be similar to the Uber and Lyft model. Centrally, it is the app, and the app connects the driver to the rider. And guess who pays for this? It is the rider who pays the money. The difference in this model is that the rider's payment is going to go directly to the driver. The driver is going to get 100% of the fare. Safe Rides is not going to take a percentage of the fare. The only thing they're going to take out is what they're supposed to take out. It is the booking fee and it also gives reimbursement. So like if you are, are in New York or any of the northern states, I know they have a lot of bridges and toll fees and different things like that. Safe Rides will actually give you a reimbursement for those fees. Unlike Uber and Lyft who actually take the 25% and then have you pay for the tolls and the fees, we won't do that. We will actually reimburse you for those fees. So you does not come at all out of your fare. So you truly keep 100% of your fare. And so right here, we're gonna give you an example of keeping 100% of your fares. So the rider paid $21.56. And the service fee, there is no service fee. If you look at that screenshot, there is no service fee whatsoever with the trip platform. The driver also takes home $17.48. The driver actually pays the platform in order for the platform to make money is just a subscription fee. And the driver decides what kind of subscription fee they want. They go either with the $40 plan or the $150 plan. There are differences in the two. And the $40 plan allows you to get 50 rides a month. And the $150 plan allows you to do unlimited rides per month. That is how the subscription fee works. Over the course of 50 rides, so we comparing the Uber platform of a service fee with the trip rides platform subscription fee. So you will only pay $40 or $150 a month. And so which one do you think is better for you? Would you rather pay $40 a month for 50 rides or would you rather pay $227 a month for 50 rides? You decide. You're the driver. You know what you want to pay. I mean, like, after seeing that, I'm like, I paid $227 to Uber, and I can just be paying safe rides just $40 a month. Think about that. You can make more, and I'm paying out less. Keep more money in my pocket. I mean, if you look at the information, you'd be like, let's just take a deeper look into the service fee and the booking fee, because some of you guys still don't understand that simple concept. So we're going to take another look at it. Let's take a deeper look at the service fee versus the subscription fee. So now, like I said, Uber is the business model of the service fee. That is your Uber and your Lyft. And the service fee is charged every single time that you pick someone up. And the service fee is variable. So the more that you make, the more that Uber would take from your check. So it's a flat 25%. And we will give you some examples of this. So let's do examples per ride. Let's say that your fare was $10. You would pay $2.50. If you your fare was $20, you would pay Uber $5. If your fare was $5, you would pay Uber $1.25. Now, these don't sound like much, but remember, you're paying Uber every single time that you pick someone up. So, again, we're going to stick with 50 rides for the whole month. And we're going to see how much you will pay Uber over the course of 50 rides on the service fee alone. This is not counting any other fees that think about the service fee to use the app. Okay, in example one, from $10, from the ten, your $10 fare, over the course of 50 rides, you're going to pay Uber $125. In example two, you'll be paying Uber $250 um, over the course of the 50 rides. And example three, you'll pay Uber $62.50. Now we're going to talk about the subscription fee. Again, it's Safe Rides, which is powered by Trip Rides. And there's a subscription fee that is only charged one time a month. And you get this flat rate, so you already know exactly what you have to pay per month. And guess what? You choose that. Either $40 a month, $80 a month, 
or one hundred and fifty dollars a month. You choose that. You choose what you want to pay, what you're comfortable with. Now we go do the exact same example per ride. If you make ten dollars on a ride, you pay zero dollars. If you make twenty dollars a ride, you pay zero dollars. If you five dollars per ride, you pay zero dollars in service fee. You have no service fee with safe rides. So over the course of fifty rides, how much are you going to pay trip based on the monthly fee? Well, you're going to either pay between forty dollars and a hundred and fifty dollars a month. You choose that, like I said, and since it's only fifty rides that we are doing, you're only going to be charged forty dollars per month. So that is still lower than Uber's at the five dollar level. Now, if you go back into the video, you had to pay Uber sixty two dollars and fifty cents. Wow, with the same amount of rides, you only had to pay safe rides forty dollars a month. So still, you're going to save more money for yourself. So now, if you was to calculate that as a service fee, trips service fee would be eighty cents per ride. So that's far less than any twenty five percent that Uber would charge. Now, do you guys understand? At the service fee versus subscription, you're going to save money, drivers, and you're going to make more. Now that you've seen that you're going to save money, and not only save money but actually make at least twenty. 2% more per ride then let's talk about the other, other parts that are optional you do not have to do these but referring people because both programs have referral pro programs so let's just take now we're talking about the referral bonus and this referral bonus is optional within both programs and both programs you could just if you want to just drive but this is optional for you to make extra income the first referral bonus program we're going to talk about is ubers so Uber allows drivers to refer other drivers and drivers get a one-time payment of $500. Now in order for the driver who referred that driver to get $500, the driver they referred has to complete a certain number of rides within a certain limit of time. If they do not complete that particular milestone, then even if that driver continues to drive for Uber, the one who referred them does not get that $500 bonus. Guess what? Uber continually benefits off the driver that you brought in. But recently I've found out that allowing drivers to get $10 for a referral. Now, if you were the driver and you referred passengers, you do not get anything for referring passengers. So you do not benefit off of any passengers that you bring in. But Uber benefits from that passenger. So even if you brought in some passengers to ride with Uber, the only one who's going to get paid off of that from bringing in more passengers and for the lifetime of that passenger will be Uber. Uber keeps that money for themselves. They're not sharing that. So now, like I said, we still on the referral bonus. So we're going to still go talk about safe rides and how their referral bonus works. Okay, so Safe Rides awards drivers who refer other uh, drivers by allowing them to keep 50% of the subscription fee. Now, I think that's fair. Do you, wouldn't you agree? Because you're the one who's onboarding those drivers for the company. So, so they'll allow you to keep 50% subscription. So in other words, if the subscription is $40, you will be paid $20. And you, it's not a one-time thing. It's a monthly thing. So every time that that driver pays once a month, you will get paid 50% of that once a month. So if it's $40, you get $20. If it's $150, you'll get $75. And you'll get that once every single month. Now passengers. Now this is a unique thing about safe rides. Is we actually give back a portion of the booking fee back to the driver who referred passengers for us. So, you earn forty cents for every passenger that takes a ride with Trip. So much so that, no matter who picks them up in your city, if they are taking a Trip ride, you will be paid forty cents because you are the one who introduced them to the platform. So instead of not giving you anything for the passengers that you refer to our program, 
we're giving you 40 cents. This, this makes drivers happier because it allows them another stream of income and passive income. This is passive. Once you refer somebody and they continue to ride with us, you'll continue to get paid that 40 cents. Remainder of that, where does it go? The remainder of that booking fee goes directly to the company so they could take care of the operational costs and fund the ride rewards that they want. To, they can do that. Trip is going to take care of the drivers and the riders and themselves. Yes, they share all of that. Hope you've got something out of this video. Hope that you see three things that I've seen in Trip. One, you will earn more as a driver. Two, you would pay the platform less. Three, you will earn more from the referral bonus. It provides you better rewards than Uber or Lyft. So, in order to sign up, just look at the last part of the video. So, we can't leave you off without allowing you to know exactly how to sign up for the company. Obviously, both companies allow you to sign up for free. In fact, we encourage you to sign up with both Uber and Lyft. And then trip. We only charge you when you upgrade to driver. So just like with Uber and Lyft, Uber allows you to become a driver for free, but it's not really free because they charge you that 25% of your fare. And if you understood throughout the video, they're charging you a whole lot of money, a whole lot more than $99 for a startup. And like I said, trip is going to charge you $99 to start and this covers your background check and your merchant account and if you are not approved we will refund 100% of your money so if you're not approved we don't keep your money we are responsible and send your money back to you and once your market opens we allow you to drive 90 days free on us so if you wanted to know why you gotta pay just look at the average cost in a rideshare platform. So go to www.tripgosc.com and you will come to this page. Just fill out all your information. You'll come to this app. Say open, get the app and I've already downloaded the app. It'll say download and you just download the Trip Rise app.